Welcome back to another video in the squad room. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, kind of. We're going to be opening um, kind of just what's left in the closet. Um, I got uh, this Zorark V-Star box that I've had for a little bit and uh, I've been kind of waiting to make a video on it because I wanted to include the Dark Rive V-Star box but I just haven't picked it up. So we're going to open that and then I have some Chilling Rain packs that I am doing, I'm opening those up for chasing the chase card. So this is kind of just like a spring cleaning type of video. So let's go ahead and open this box up and jump right into it. All right, so this is where we're at. Once opening the box, we get the Jumbo Zorark V-Star card, which is in all the premium collection boxes. Then you get the two promo cards, which this is a full art Zorark, which is very nice. I love the colors on that one. And then you get the V-Star promo card, which again is very nice. These are that pearl color. I really do love that. In this box, you also get a really nice pin. They do such a good job with these pins. That is a really cool one. It actually has a lot of weight to it. And then the coin that you get plus the V-Star marker. Um, if you play the TCG, it's kind of hard to see the actual design of the coin. There you go, kind of see it there. And then the packs inside, you get six packs. Let's see here, you get a two Lost Origin, you get Astral Radiance, Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, and Chilling Rain. So pretty good assortment of packs, you get six of them. Um, let's go ahead and just do the worst, get them out of the way uh, first, which would be Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. They're not bad sets, but um, not good pull rates. So that kind of makes things hard. Uh, well, not really hard, but uh, just not really too enjoyable when opening cards. Uh, bad pull rates means less hits. Less hits means... Uh-oh, got something because this... <laughs> I mean, it is completely stuck. And we got Gengar V Max. So right off the bat, first pack magic, we're gonna get a uh, V Max card. That's pretty good. Then we're gonna move into Chilling Rain. Now Chilling Rain, just like Fusion Strike, does not have good pull rates, but has a lot of good cards in it. It's kind of hard to hate the set because of the cards within it. There's a lot of them that I want that I have yet to pull and that's why we're doing the, ch uh, the chase card of Chilling Rain because it is so hard to pull. Next up, we're gonna go, uh, let's do Astral Radiance. Now Astral Radiance of the six packs starts off the better pull rates. Um, Evolving Skies doesn't really have that great of pull rates either, but it is such a good set that we're gonna we're gonna save that one for last. V Star Marker, um, Astral Radiance again, a lot of good cards that I have yet to pull, so still waiting for them to pop up. And right off the bat, first Astral Radiance card pack, we got a Calyrex V, and this is the Trainer Gallery. A very nice card there. Very beautiful. Do love uh, the background colors. And then a Heat Ran V Max. Wow, look at that pack. That is a double banger and both textured cards. Very nice pack right there. All right, let's move into Lost Origin. Lost Origin has uh, that trainer gallery slot, which makes it. Uh, fun to open. It gives you a ton of chances to pull really nice cards. So, uh, and it and it has some really nice cards in it. it. Wasn't my favorite set, but it's not a bad one by any means. Got a spinner rack and a Gudra V. So I think we are um, what three for three, right? We didn't get anything in the Fusion Strike pack. So we are uh, three for four, which that's all right. That is some pretty good odds. 
Lost Origin Pack number two. Pokemon's coming out with so many sets um, that I'm trying to keep track of, and it's actually kind of getting difficult to remember what cards you want from each uh, set. Got a Bomb of Snow, Basculin. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but uh, it's kind of difficult. A Radiant Guard of War, so there's a hit, and a Rotom V, so another double banger pack. So, so far, we are uh, four, three for five, and those are really good odds. One, two, three, four. Are we four for five? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> but we have Evolving Skies last, and this has the biggest cards that we want. We are looking for alt arts of the EV variety. I also need the Dragonite alt art, and they have eluded me. And we got an Articuno. They have eluded me this entire time. And Evolving Skies is actually starting to get pretty expensive. Um, that was a very successful box. Here are our hits, plus the two promo cards that I will take every time in a box. Let's go ahead and move on to Chilling Rain. Now this, I do know what card we are searching for. If you guys have watched Chasing the Chase card uh, series, we are going after that elusive Moltres. That Moltres that is in front of the moon probably one of the best cards within the sword and shield era maybe not one of the best but uh it is it's up there it, there's a it's a beautiful card and moltres is a very popular pokemon so that just makes it even more valuable i think it's what over a hundred dollars to buy off the secondary market so we want to pull it out of a pack. It's always more fun to pull a card from a pack than uh, to just to buy it. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do and uh, and buy it. You know, a lot of times cards just elude you. Their pull rates are not very good, and it's just something you got to do if you want that card. The problem with Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain is the set is monstrous. The sets are just huge and that kind of can be a bad thing for collectors because it's going to cost money to uh, collect it. And we got a Cinderous Hollow. It's going to cost a, a decent amount to collect the entire thing. And Chilling, uh, Chilling Rain, just like Fusion Strike, Fusion Strike has a couple hundred dollar cards in it. So, I mean, if you're wanting to collect the whole set, you better uh, either get really lucky pulling um, or, you know, cough up the cash. And right now, Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike, uh, their packs at one time were going for $2.50 a pack, which is extremely low. So, um, I figured, you know, they're not too expensive. Why not um, just try to pull whatever we can out of them? So I got a, a there's a cell BV Max. So there's our first hit out of uh, the Chilling Rain. So far, no luck uh, with Battle Styles, Fusion Strike, or Chilling Rain. But we will see what we can do. Who knows how far this series will go? I mean, eventually. It might get to the point where I'm just like, hey, and a Gengar. I do like that Gengar Hollow. It might get to the point where it's like, you might just need to buy it. Because eventually the packs are going to go up in price. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be so affordable to open it. And, you know, that's, that's okay. I think right now, modern stuff, modern sealed stuff is kind of going back up in price. So we we might not be able to do this. I think right now packs might be at 350 a pack instead of uh, 250. 
so maybe a dollar more but you never know there's people that'll still sell them for low people who got a ton of them we got a diglet a coffin and a bomb of snow so we got one hit so far um, I had 10 chilling rain packs so we'll see how many hits we can get out of 10 so far just one I'm looking to really uh, and if I pull that I just be done with this set because I'm um, there's a couple other cards that I want but they're not so expensive so I I would be okay with uh, with purchasing those Got an echoing horn and a life hard V so hit number two yeah there's uh, some really some Calyrax cards of the alternate version the alternate art variety uh, my alternate arts I really do love them those in full arts they do some of the full arts are just amazing uh, and I think they get they're underappreciated they have a beautiful array of colors and it really shows off the Pokemon and a Zora V so three hits nothing better than a uh, V max but hits nonetheless Pulling Vmaxes and Vs can uh, can sometimes get a little boring, but it's better than pulling nothing at all. Got a Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Blitzel, and a Walrin. Uh, five packs left. So in five packs, we uh, we pulled. We pulled three hits, so honestly, not too bad of, not too bad of pull rates. Path to the Peak, Ledian, Welcoming Lantern, Lapras, Deerling, Slowpoke, Coughing, oh, and Spirit Tomb, Malmar. And it's kind of crazy if you look at how much it would cost you to purchase this entire set. At one time, I don't know what the prices are of all the cards now, but at one time it was in the thousands. So to collect the entire set, it would cost you a couple, like not a couple, but a, about a thousand dollars to collect the entire set. And that was right when the set was uh, selling its packs for about two dollars and fifty cents. So it, it was kind of interesting to see that a set can be so expensive because of the cards within it, but yet so cheap because nobody wants the set. <laughs> like it's not the worst set. It's uh, definitely not the best, but it's kind of right in the middle. Agron. And the pull rates definitely, um, definitely hurt. Actually, this is a Moltres pack. We're gonna keep this for last. The pull rates definitely have an effect, and I think that's why uh, the new sets are so popular. Like Crown Zenith is amazing. The pull rates for that are wonderful. Like you have so much fun while opening. That's why people like Shiny Fates so much and Hidden Fates so much. And a Lycan Rock. Okay, one more pack. We're not going to look at the code card. We're going to go straight through it. Delibird. Farfetch'd. Porygon. Heracross. Sobble. And Talion. And a Calyrex V. So, we did get a hit out of that. Out of our last pack, we did end up getting a hit out of. But, so far, we are still searching for that card. But that's okay. That is the fun of Pokemon. You know, that's that's what you love. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, it's kind of a you know spring cleaning video, if you want to call it that. But uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out and opening some cards with me. I always have a great time. I will see you in the next one. Mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good.